Hi, I'm Kathy Conamudio from CraftyChica.com and I'm going to show you how to use a torch to make a cool stamped pewter charm like this. This is an epic project. I know you're going to love it. Okay, let's go make it. So to get started, I have a butane torch. This is a micro handheld torch. It's really easy to use. It comes without any propane. You just buy your little propane tank and you fill this up here until you hear a little spurt and then you know it's ready to go. So the first thing, whenever you're using a torch, you wanna have safety gloves and safety glasses. And I'm working on a fire safe tile, this big tile. I have a fire brick and water to quench my piece. So what we're going to do is take this little pewter pendant. I love using pewter because it works best for this project. It just melts down so beautifully and it makes it easy to put the little rubber stamp into. Now when it comes to embedding your, your rubber stamp, I would make sure to stick with rubber when it comes to these because um, once you push it in there, it will not ruin your stamp at all. If I've tried it with other things to make impressions and it's a little trickier, you can't go wrong with rubber stamps. So what we're going to do, I have my torch here on a medium size flame and I'm just going to pull this trigger down to press the button to make it start. I have my pewter pendant right here and let's do this. You want to listen for the sound of the flame coming out and again I have this at medium flame at the medium flame and I'm just going to go over the pendant nice and even. Just even strokes. It's so cool to see what happens to this. It's going to bubble up and in a sense kind of liquefy. If it takes a long time that means maybe my flame could be a little bit bigger but look we're starting to get some action here. Can you see the the change in the pewter, it's starting to bubble up. And you don't want to do it too much because then it will lose its shape. So now I can put my stamp in. Let's press it in there. Perfect. And now I'm just going to let this cool a little before I... And now that it's quenched, I can take it out. It's all cool now that it's in the water. And there we have it! Oh, that is so cool! Now that we have our pendants, you want to make sure they're nice and dry and we want to give them color. So if you look at this one, you can see the black that I have in there. The way I did that, I just used some craft paint. Just take a little bit of your craft paint. You could also use a permanent marker. And I'm just gonna coat this whole pendant with the craft paint. And you can use any color. I found that black works best because it really gets into all of those little grooves. And then you can take a rag or another towel and wipe away the excess. And there you have it. See, wasn't that so cool or so hot? You decide. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to see more videos, and all the information, all the supplies are in the description area below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, happy crafting.